Hi everyone. A little while ago I did a uh, video on uh, the Canon uh, web webcam utility um, software that you can use or turn your Canon DSLR into a um, pretty much a, a webcam, right? And I was astounded at the amount of people that have contacted me since and have asked how do you do it, it doesn't work and all this sort of stuff and a lot of people said the Canon 40D does not work with video and all this sort of rubbish and it's not a video DSLR and so anyway um, the most recent one was a gentleman on my channel that asked about the Canon uh, 40 400D working does it work look I'm not Canon I can't tell you the best way to do it is uh, trial and error and that's how I stumbled on the uh, Canon 40D uh, working with uh, the Canon utility now what you need to do is uh, persevere in the sense that uh, a lot of people, and myself included, I tried to do this several times, not several, probably dozens of times before I actually got it to work. And what it was, was uh, understanding that, uh, you, first of all, what you need, uh, switching off all the other accompanying uh, programs. And um, once, once you've got it set up, and if you've used OBS uh, software before, because that's what we've used to the live stream, um, you know, with OBS, you can have multiple camera sources. Um, when you use this particular uh, camera software, the webcam utility, for some reason, when you switch cameras, it seems to switch them off. And, and, and it just, for some reason, you can't go back to them. You have to reset everything and all that. So I strongly uh, can give you my tips. I strongly recommend, sorry, I should start again. My apologies. I strongly recommend you do the following. Now, first of all, this is the, this is the camera, the setup, 40D. You've got the camera. Oh, there's no there's no camera capture cards involved here, right? So as you can see, it's just the camera uh, cable down to my computer. Um, that's all it is, and no capture card, no third party hardware, nothing. And all it is is a, is a Canon 40D. If, uh, in fact, I'll, uh, I'll I don't know if you can see that. If you can see, it's a 40D with a Tamron lens, and already you can see on the back there, it's uh, it's already. You can see it's already active. Now I've left it active so in case anybody's got some comment and they don't believe me, it's pointed at the blinds now. Um, you'll see I can just turn it around. I don't get all my messy bedroom here, but now you can see, right, now there it is there, right? And you, there is no autofocus and there's no audio, okay? So that's another thing. It does work. I have tested it and it does work. You can see it working behind there, right? So I'm not lying to you. It does work. So if people say to me, 40Ds aren't DSLRs with video and all this, you're full of it because I've tested it even before OBS and all this. I remember there was a, a software package or a, a Russian guy, I think it was a Russian guy had written and, uh, <coughs> and it did work. So I'm going to go through the process from start to finish, okay? I'm going to turn everything off. And I'm just going to show you how to do it. Now, even prior to testing this, I, I pretty much went through it several times because it wouldn't work properly. Excuse me a second. Now, it wouldn't work. So what I did, I had to disable the EOS utility. If, you, if you've got a Canon DSLR camera, you, it usually comes with a software package called the uh, Canon EOS utility, which uh, pretty much downloads, as soon as you connect your camera, it downloads all the, uh, all, all the um, photos to your computer. It's automatic, it stays in your system tray. Now I've already turned it off, but basically it's on the bottom right hand corner of your computer, it usually sits in there, and it's this program here. I'll just turn it on just so you can see what I'm talking about. <clears throat> now, see that? It says, fail to communicate with camera, check connection. What it does, if that's running and that's in the background, what will happen is there's a conflict, okay? So you, there's a conflict between OBS trying to get the resources of the camera and the actual EOS utility trying to get the resources of your camera. So make sure before you start, you quit this at your, down the bottom here. So all you, now it's sitting in the, see that? I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's sitting on the bottom of the, the tray there. I'm gonna right click on it, EOS utility, and I'm gonna say quit. Okay, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to switch everything off, switch the camera off, and I'll start from, from scratch. I'm going to turn off OBS. You can hear the camera already 
it's deactivated, so I'm going to switch off the camera. Okay. Okay. So, I don't know if we can see that. I've just got basically my camera right to a USB port. Hope you don't see my mockos because it's freezing down here where I live. So, um, I've actually moved since the last time I've done the video. So, um, that's why I probably haven't responded to a lot of the comments. Sorry about that, but we've moved from one state to another. We've moved from Victoria to New South Wales. And so I haven't had a chance to upload any more videos. Now, I still use older cameras. I've still got my 5D uh, Mark II, which I still use. I've got my 80D as well. They're all great cameras, right? So I'm not gonna um, you know, go, go through them. I mean, this is the main purpose of this video is to just show you how to, how to use an older DSLR with this webcam set up right so what i'm going to do make sure no utilities on you'll also find sometimes when you switch your uh camera on the uh, the windows default software comes on uh the to the the uh what's it called the import of uh, photos you need to so you need sorry about that i just jolted my camera you need to switch all that off turn that stuff off you can go in the control panel and set that as well so basically what it does is um uh, it, it asks you what action to take when uh, when you uh, connect the camera. You just say take no action. So, all right, here we go. Step number one: everything's connected. Your camera's powered up. Usually, put on a little tripod just for safety. Um, I'm going to turn on OBS. <clears throat> okay. Now, see that it defaults to my Logitech webcam. But there's also the webcam driver there, the webcam utility. Now, as soon as I turn on, as soon as I turn on my 40D, let's see what happens. And there you have it. See. Now this thing comes up. This is a window that I don't know if you can if you can see that fully. If I can zoom in, that's the uh, Canon, not the Canon. That's the uh, Windows default uh, action. You need to switch that off. Now I've already gone to the settings and told it to not to not to do any actions but it seems to be still popping up that's windows for you it's a little bit too close isn't it all right i'm just going to enlarge obs now i'm not going to go through obs because you know there's so many good videos better than mine on um on obs on online already um basically all you have to do is you've got to set set a uh, separate source all right so you basically actually I'll, I'll, I'll do it i'll do it for you now i don't know if you can see that on the bottom left hand corner it's got where there's a little window there it's got uh sources source where your source of uh, i guess video is coming from so you you'll go click the plus sign and it automatically comes up with a default uh heading of scene scene two well, we'll we'll call it um canon test right canon test and now the source okay we've got it there but nothing's happening right so on the right hand side here where it's got uh source sources you have to do the same thing again there's a little plus arrow you click on that and you select uh, from the drop down box you select video capture device and you can call it uh, test all right I'll call it test and here it when it brings up this this window it picks up my logitech camera webcam and it also has a list of things down the bottom there and we, we just scroll down till we find the eos webcam utility beta click on that and go okay and there you have it right it's picked it up now because this this dslr camera is a lower resolution than most modern cameras what i do is i take the uh there's a there's a little if you click on that box there there's a little red uh what's the word outline you you click on that grab a corner and drag it out now don't forget this this camera is um is not the same resolution as a uh, as a, a you know like an 80d or a 90d or whatever 5dr or whatever but you can actually get good quality video 
And as you can see there, I've taken that, I've stretched it right out. And in order to get this screen to be the one that you're streaming, you just go transition. So what I'll do, I'll just change transition. Oh yeah, and there it, all, it was already on there, my apologies. But that's, that's working now. So all you have to do now is pretty much set up your streaming and away you go. But make sure you have a microphone um, where you can get your audio from, like a, a USB microphone. You can pick them up on eBay or next to nothing really. You know, from starting from a couple of bucks to, you know, even 30 bucks, you can get a good USB mic. Now, that's all it is. <coughs> now, if you're having trouble, just go through those steps. It will work, okay? Now, I don't know about uh, older cameras than a 40D. 40D, I think, came out in 2007, if I'm correct, and it's a 10 megapixel camera. Um, I know the 50D after that had some sort of uh, video facility already on there. And, and then they brought out video and I think in the 60D sort of came out official, okay? Now, um, look, just try it and persevere. That's all you have to do. Um, if it doesn't work, well, you know, maybe, well, maybe the camera, but I dare say any DSLR from, you know, the last 10 years from Canon should work. Now, um, like I said, if uh, the last comments I've had, I've had some stupid comments, I've had some good comments, and uh, look, I, I, to the ones that uh, actually did th uh, thank me for it, I you know, really appreciate your comments, and uh, if you want to subscribe now that I'm back in, uh, back in a house, I'll, uh, I'll probably, str probably try and do some more stuff on a regular basis uh, as, as best I can. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, if there's any other questions, you can, I guess, send them to me. Or if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, whatever. But, um, yeah, all the best with it and good luck. And don't be scared to make mistakes. That's the best advice I can give you. See you later.